Howdy Pards, Mr. Holster here, back with another Top 5 from the movies. Today we're going to look at the Top 5 firearms used by Clint Eastwood in the movies. And you would think this would be easy, but you know it's really not. There were so many great firearms, this was really hard to weed down, so yeah, I missed a lot of them. Don't hesitate to put your favorite in the comment section down below. And here we go, we'll start with number five, one of my favorite, well, they're all my favorite movies, love Clint Eastwood, Gran Torino, 2008. The M1, Garand, yeah, that classic line, get off my lawn. Yeah, love that movie. Number four, my number four pick, Dirty Harry, the movie is Sudden Impact, 1983, where he has the AMC 44 Auto Mag. I just love this gun. Number three, my number three choice is the Outlaw Josie Wales, 1976. And here he shoots a Gatlin gun. Yeah, you can't get much better than Clint Eastwood with a cowboy hat shooting a Gatlin gun. <laughs> Says I. Number two, the number two choice. The classic ultimate western with Clint Eastwood, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, made in 1966. And here I'm going to throw out two guns that he used in this movie. I know I'm supposed to only have one, but the first is the rifle that he sets his, his friend free with <laughs> so they can go collect another bounty. The Sharps, 1874. And, of course, his sidearm of choice, a Colt, 1851 conversion. Here we are, guys. We're already there, and I know you know what the answer to this one is. Number one, my number one choice is Dirty Harry from 1971. A Smith & Wesson Model 29 in 44 Magnum. Yes, they'll always be connected permanently to Clint Eastwood, the Smith & Wesson 29. He put that gun on the map. I do have two, two more I'm just going to mention. These get honorable mention. The first is, and both these movies are absolutely great movies. Matter of fact, every one of these movies is a great movie. If you haven't seen one, you know, the, the sudden impact one with Sandra Locke, maybe that's a little weak. But the rest of them are really good movies. And here's my... My two that didn't make the top five that get honorable mention, the movie Unforgiven in 1992, where he gets out his gun and practices up to go after the bad guys, the star 1858 Army in 44. And the other one, honorable mention, and this one, this one, I I would have liked to put it in the list, but eh, it's you know this is not it. I, I most of the guns in these lists are all you know, small arms, and this one not so much. <laughs> Even the Gatlin gun appears to be a small arm compared to this. The Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, 1974. The Orlicon, I think that's how you pronounce it, Orlicon cannon. 20, 20 millimeter. Yeah, a 20 millimeter cannon. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. There's my top five of the guns Clint Eastwood used in the movies. I'm sure I missed some. Type them in down below and tell me what I missed. Thanks for tuning in. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Till next time, from Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. Hey, that's pretty good. That's a lot of guns for only 4 minutes and 25 seconds of your life. You'll never, ever, ever get back again.